Good Friday morning, Mount Olive family, friends of Mount Olive, all you uh, tuning in to watch a, another Friday devotion. Uh, as always, I want to say thank each one of you for uh, taking the time out of your busy schedules to uh, to watch these devotions. Appreciate each one of you and the words, the kind words that you say to us when you see us. Not just mine, but all the guys, We they all appreciate it. So I'll put my screen with you. So, uh, Pastor TJ, he preached a, a, mes a parable, in, uh, a message, of, and it was a parable about salt. Uh, he entitled it, Let's Be Salty, a, a parable about salt. Matthew 5.13 is his scripture. Let's take a look at that scripture. <clears throat> Matthew 5.13 says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is it is thenceforth good for nothing but to be trodden, to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot of men. Uh, and I noticed in this verse, I don't know if you noticed that, he's talking about salt. And he gives it a personal pronoun when he says it has lost, if the salt have lost his savor. He didn't say its savor. He's talking about, he said his savor. Uh, so he's using a personal pronoun there. So he's not talking about, you know, salt as we know it. He's talking about the individual. Uh, and I found this little uh, diagram here, or a little thing that says, uh, you are the salt of the earth, Matthew 5, 13. And, you know, Jesus was telling us that we are the salt of the earth. I think when he was using that personal pronoun, he is, he was trying to say, you know, it's not about it, it's about us. It's about what, what we are. So, um, you know, this parable, it, uh, it, ha it was something that people could relate to. They knew about salt. And, as Pastor T.J. preached, salt was a valuable commodity in ancient times, and it had many uses. Uh, and when Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, they knew that they were valuable to God. But they also knew as salt has its purpose, so do we also have, uh, have our purpose. And let's look at some of the purposes of salt. First one says it's to season or to enhance. You know, one of the purposes of salt is to season or to enhance the flavor uh, of, uh, of, uh, of our meal. And as Christians, we should be a salt and season our words, as it says in Colossians 4, 6. Let's look at Colossians 4, 6. It says, let your speech be always with grace, grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. So that's, you know, it's very important. Paul's writing to the Colossians, you know, the Colossians were under attack by their, their community. A lot of uh, unsaved people were there. But he said, let your speech be always uh, be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how, to, how you ought to answer every man. So also, uh, we should be like salt and enhance or enrich the lives of those around us, whether they be Christians or not. Uh, the second one is to preserve. You know, we, we need to preserve what is right over all the things that are wrong. We need to preserve the integrity of God's word and his standards that he has set all to follow. You know, we live in a dark world where wrong seems right and right is always wrong. And as Brother Jody preached last week, he said, you know, we need to put on the whole armor of God so that we can stand against the wiles of the devil and take a stand in this world to call out truth to a, a lying world. And as Brother Jason, he taught in his uh, Wednesday night message, he said, we are in the world, but we are not of the world. But here's the warning. Let's look at the verse again. He said, "Ye are the salt of the earth, but, it's very important, three-letter word there, if the salt have lost his savor. You know, that's, that's the warning uh, is the but. But if the salt has lost his savor, if that happens, we cannot season or enhance those around us. And we definitely cannot preserve what is good and what's right. You know, if our salt has lost its savor, then our worship will be negatively impacted and we will just attend church and not be a part of the worship in the church. 
our work in the in the in the church will be impacted also and things won't get done so we are to keep the savior we are to keep the savior of our salt by following and learning more about the savior of our souls and then we can be the salt of the earth i hope you enjoyed this friday devotion uh be much in prayer for our our service on sunday all the ones who will be coming that you know they'll see their need for a savior uh you know that we who are christians that we'll be able to draw closer to him uh and uh and be the salt of the earth and the light of the earth uh in this dark world that we live in love each one of you we'll see you on sunday